Hi everyone, Ashley here with Scraps, Buttons, and Bows, and I am back with another paper peak for Blue Fern. Um, like I said in the previous video, it's not for Blue Fern, it's about Blue Fern paper. <laughs> it's for me. Um, this is my first time owning any Blue Fern paper. It was, it's new to me, completely new to me. And like I had explained in the previous video, that, um, I had seen it and I took a peek at it and they have gorgeous lines. These were just two of my favorites. I want to get them all, to be completely honest. <laughs> um, and um, Carol of Scrub Dabba Do Crafts brought them in, the two lines. One was Serendipity, which is the video before this on YouTube. And then this one is Timeless. Um, they're very vintage, shabby chic. Um, very soft and delicate and um, sorry for any shadows it's nighttime here the coloring is going to be slightly off and stuff might be askew but I just wanted to share these with you they came today and so um, this is the timeless collection so we'll go ahead and take a peek at that um, this one is called uh, ooh, is that long or song I think it's called long and I absolutely love it. This one's more of a darker, I would say grungier, but not, it's not like gothic grungy. It's just grungier. It's, it looks more worn, maybe older. And there's two of each in each, um, each of the paper packs. This one's called Papillions, and, it, and just like I had stated with the Serendipity line, this line as well is one of those lines, and, and this has only happened maybe a couple of times, um, mostly for me with Prima, that when you flip through a, a, a complete collection, and you're, say, making, making a mini album or something, and you ha um, usually have, you know, a couple maybe two good options for a front and back cover and like an inside cover the rest will be pages and um, this these two lines as well as maybe a couple with Prima have been the only collections where every single page could be a front and back cover it, I mean it's just it's going to be really hard to choose um, that's why I got four of each collection <laughs> I went slightly overboard, but I don't think overboard. I will use this up. I make junk journals and albums, and so these are going to be spread out amongst all of those um, crafting venues. So this one is called... Okay, I cannot read that. McConnery? I think is what that says. There's two of those, and you guys, I don't know if you've seen the back. It's a nice green. And this one has a nice yellow on it. This one is called Keepsakes. I just love it. All the vintage paper and ephemera and the writing and the layering of just each layer. You can see the layers, and I love that in a paper. And again, just like with the other one, these are very, very... Thick cardstock sheets. Um, probably one of the thickest, if not the thickest, I've ever worked with. These, like I said, were on par with the Authentique paper. And we all know that the Authentique has a little bit of a texture to it, but it has a really great thickness. This does too. And this one's called Artistic. This one is called Main Street. I absolutely love it. I love, I think these are called pansies. Is that what they are? I love these flowers. Again, this one's more of a darker, kind of vintage, grunged collection. Definitely distressed. I love this wood one right here, this grain of wood. It's literally like they went and took a picture of their deck and put it on the back of that page. It's awesome. This one's called Abode. Um, this one is called Couture. 
absolutely love these prints. I'm going to have to say, you know, if this one holds up well as far as, you know, when I'm making mini albums and how it cuts and stuff, this will probably end up being my favorite line of 2016. I was, I was I'm extremely impressed. I haven't actually worked with it, so I'm going to hold off the complete review of this paper. But first impressions, great. And the paper also had, that one was called Freedom. This one, I'll just go back. These are the calling cards, I guess is what Blue Fern calls them. They did the same thing in the Serendipity collection. So these are your cut aparts for the collection. Love the back of this. So this one is the Timeless collection, and like I said, I just, um, right before this one will upload, there's the Serendipity collection, which is along the same lines with the florals, the colors, the shabby chicness. It's just not as um, dark or like vintage grunge. Really, really distressed. It's not as distressed. It's more the shabby chic direction of things. So those are the two Serendipity collections. You can see the Serendipity. Er, these are the two Blue Fern collections. You can see the Serendipity um, in one of the previous videos. And then this one is called Timeless. So thanks for watching. I'll put a link to Scrap It Out Do Crafts in the box below. And um, I'm going to come back with a couple more Prima paper lines that have been out for forever, but I'm the first one getting them. Or I'm the last one getting them, I should say. <laughs> so we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.